Nice job, Maya. It would have been better with the ball, but we can still call that a half goal. Who's the best no ifs or buts? We, we are, we are, are Hazelnuts! And who are the best pals? We are! That's our goal. We're pretending to be the goal. Uh, that's our goal. Get it? Oh, goal! <laughs> What's up, losers? Not too tired to be goal posts. <laughs> no, we're not losers. We're so so. Yeah, somewhere between pretty bad and average. So so. Daniel, if I had legs, I'd kick your butt, but I don't. Do you know why? Hmm? Because you spend all your time pretending to be a goalpost with Junior! Sorry, Eriko. I'll try harder next time. Remember, Hazelnuts, meditate and hydrate. But maybe not at the same time, Stephen. <laughs> 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 Open now! Open now! So so! Captain Daddy to the rescue! Nice teamwork there, Steven. Remember, Hazelnuts. Practice continues, even off the field. <laughs> <laughs> well, as you can tell, I'm a little bit jittery today, guys. But that's because it's time for your evaluation results. <laughs> Steven Gates. A gorilla! Good job, Steven. This is the greatest day of my life! <laughs> Congratulations, Tamiya. A gorilla for you! Oh, wow. Maya, you managed to touch the ball twice, and one of those times was with your foot. You get a gorilla! Wow! Larry, you fell off your solo wheel without even crying. You get a gorilla too! Junior and Daniel, um, you, um, you can have this little opossum. It's different, but interesting in its own way. So, so. A big rat? Seriously, Daniel? It's an opossum! <laughs> Don't you think it's cute? <laughs> You have Erico Platana for a coach. You can't be this bad. It's like you're doing it on purpose. What? No. <laughs> doing it on purpose? <laughs> no way. <laughs> hmm. Say, haven't your calves gotten bigger? And what's this? A callus. <laughs> you haven't been unscrewing your water bottles all alone, have you? Of course I haven't. You know I can't do that. Okay, maybe you say so. <laughs> Think fast! <laughs> I knew it! You're not really that bad! No, I'm a so so! A so so! <laughs> You're right. I'm not really so so. But there's no way I can tell Junior the truth. He'll be crushed. You prefer to lie? Oh, great, Daniel. Do you really think that makes you a good friend? No, but if I stop pretending to be as so-so as he is, we won't be as good friends as we are now. Ah, oh, so that's why. Okay, I get it now, Daniel. You really are a true friend. Really? No, not really. I'm lying, Daniel, just like you. See how it feels. Now, go and tell him the truth, or I'll do it for you. Junior, there's something I gotta tell you. I've been lying to you from the
the start, I'm not really so-so. I was just pretending so we could be friends because I didn't want you to feel left out. What? Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you really had me there. I thought I was going to have to end our friendship. <laughs> <laughs> So-so! It really pains me to have to do this, Daniel. Hmm. No, actually, I quite like it. Here, could you open this for me, please? Sure! Huh? <laughs> no! I knew my hard work would pay off one day. Just watch and learn, Junior. <laughs> All, All right! right! I'm sorry, Junior. I didn't mean to. Uh... Do you know what you're really so-so at, Daniel? No. <laughs> Being a good friend. <laughs> <laughs> Leaves a bitter taste in your mouth, doesn't it? That's the taste of victory. It'll grow on you. He looks so sad. I can't just leave him all by himself. Let him go, Daniel. Hmm. You can't stand on the sidelines your whole life. Hey, Junior. So-so? Forget it, Daniel. I know you're faking it. Don't pull that face. You're with the best now, where you belong. Erico, does being the best mean you're always alone? What? Uh, uh no. No, 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 not at all. <laughs> Waffle, old pal. <laughs> yeah, Platana here. I know it's been... Uh, hello? Hello? Worldtino, you old rascal. It's Erico. <laughs> uh Joliba, how you doing? It's Platana. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I can't do this to Daniel. He needs his friend. I'll tell him I was wrong. On the other hand, I could just train Junior in secret until he's good enough to play with Daniel. Nothing. Nothing at all. I just happen to be a junior's. Same. Right. Well, see you back at home then. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I lied, lied to you. you. I, I was, was training, training junior, junior in secret. secret. I was wrong, Daniel. Friendship is just as important as your career. Your bad friend is a junior. It's me. You're not a bad friend at all, Erico. You're so-so. You seen Junior? Not yet. Do you think it worked? Or Mr. So-So. I knew my practice sessions would pay off eventually. That deserves at least a... Motoraptor! We did it, Daniel. We made Junior a better football player. <laughs> Daniel. Whoa, 
Whoa, whoa, whoa, whoa, Daniel, take it easy. You've only just advanced from so-so to average. Average. Daniel, Daniel, Daniel. How did you manage to lose only one shin guard? Oh, I don't know, Erico. <laughs> well, let's take a look through my old things and see what we can find. Oh. <laughs> You're too young for this. Uh, this is not mine. Oh, <laughs> I was sure I threw that away. Aww. Are these drawings from when you were a kid? No, that's from a couple years ago. Sketches from my graphic novel. You used to draw comics, Erico? Uh-uh-uh. Graphic novels, Daniel. I've always made time to explore my many talents. Erica Platana is a complete artiste. Joel, the cheeky squirrel. Oh, the adventures we had together. His best friend is a talking tire? You bet. This project was pure genius from start to finish. But anyway, that's all in the past now. Why'd you give it up? No time, Daniel. What with games, interviews, selfies. When you're a superstar, there's no time for hobbies. Too bad you stopped. You sure don't have those problems anymore. Maybe not now, but I intend on getting my body back soon, so get your butt in gear, Daniel. Even better than the real thing. Erico, look! I made myself a new shin guard. Are you coming? We're gonna be late for practice. Wow! Daniel, just in time. I need a fresh pair of eyes. You're back to the drawing board? I couldn't resist the call of Joel. I've drawn pages and pages since yesterday. It's like it was always in me. What do you think? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Well, it rocks, right? I've already called ten different publishers. Uh, um, the drawing of the clouds is funny. The fight scene? You're holding it upside down. <laughs> You know what, Erico? Comics are nice, but you already know where your true talents lie. Of course. How could I forget? Now I remember the scent of leather, the squeak of souls. That was my real passion, Daniel. Shoe making! What? Ha! <laughs> Graphic illustrator, what was I thinking? Being a shoemaker is my true calling. But what about practice? Not now, Daniel. I have to strike the leather while it's hot. But you'll come to see me play, right? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. I'll be there later. Okay, Erico. Just in time. The Welton gave me a stitch, but I got the upper hand at last. You made me shoes? Not just any shoes. Platanas. The shoe I've always dreamed of making. Stylish, comfortable, and high performance. I know. Breathtaking. Go on. Try them on. Uh, I don't know, Erico. Go on. Tell me what you think. It's just a couple hours' work, you know? <laughs> and a lifelong dream. <laughs> well, am I a genius or what? There, uh... 
I've never had shoes like these before. <laughs> you better believe it. Good. I'll call the factory. Feet all around the world are going to be singing my name. No! I mean, uh, shoemaking is great and you've uh, got a... Oh, got a gift. But maybe you should put that aside for the moment, you know? <gasps> so you can concentrate on your real talent. Holy cow, Daniel. Of course. Now I remember. The applause, the glitz, the glamour, the beating of Dove's wings. Magic! How could I have been so blind? That's my true calling. No, Erico, it's fun. Abracadabra! <laughs> okay, I might be a little rusty. Can you at least come see the match this afternoon? Yeah, yeah, don't worry. You promise? Yeah, 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 I promise. Is it this one? No. Okay, then. Is it this one? No. Oh, I must have dropped it. Huh? Of course! My nail art kit! Huh? My makeup set? My hairdressing equipment! My old paintball gear! My DJ turntable! My ventriloquist puppet! What's up, Daniel? My propane barbecue! Oh, don't worry. I've got my volunteer fireman's helmet in here somewhere. Hey, what's this? Up around the edges, but inspiration takes time, Daniel. Sorry, Mr. Box, but you need to go away. It's better for everybody. Don't do it, Daniel! You can't throw me away like that without talking to Erico first! But he won't listen to me. You know how he gets when he's fixated on something. I agree. It's the only way. But if you do that, you'll regret it for the rest of your life! Don't pay attention to him, Daniel. You can never trust a puppet. But you're a puppet, too! <laughs> Daniel? Did you come to do some fly fishing, too? Hey! That's my stuff. You've got to stop this, Erico. Every 20 minutes, you switch obsessions. You'll never get your body back if you stop training me. I can't help it if I'm good at everything. Like I said, I'm a complete artiste. But you're not a complete artiste. You're not good, Erico. Sculptures are pretty average. <laughs> but at football, you're a genius. That's more than enough. Huh. Gee, thanks, Daniel. I thought we were friends. I'll see you later, Dream Crusher. Hmm. Fine, Joel, you win. Erica will never play football again. Hmm? Hey! <gasps> Can I help you? Or have you just come to shatter my dreams again? No, I've come to save them. Do you know what's in every frame of your comic? A gripping narrative and hysterical jokes? No. A uh, football. And do you know what's all over your shoes? Quality and a painstaking attention to detail. Plates! Your nail art? Football! Your hairdressing? Football! 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 I don't see what that proves. It's just a coincidence. It proves that football has always been your true passion. You put it in everything you do. Oh, come on. What about my ice sculpture, then? Wow. 
You're right, Daniel. No matter what I do, football always runs through my veins. But that's a good thing, Eriko. It means that you're really into your passion. And on top of that, you're a superstar! Oh, yeah? And if I never get my body back, what happens to the superstar then? If I really can't be the best player in the world anymore, what will become of me? The best coach in the world. And anyway, you'll always be a superstar to me. Oh, Daniel. My saxophone? Ditch it. My hand-painted plates? Ditch them. There's just one thing left. Ah! <gasps> Shin guards! Ah! I knew I put them somewhere. <laughs> Come on, Daniel! You're a wall! A bulldozer! Jump. <laughs> Sorry, Larry. I don't know my own strength. Stop that. Can't you see that he's faking it? You're heartless, Erico. Look at him. He may never walk again. Uh, why, Daniel? Why? Penalty. Huh? <laughs> It looks so real. How did you know he was faking it? Ah, oh, Daniel. It comes down to experience and technology. Ow! Oh! <clears throat> huh? Huh? Hmm? Ah my leg! <gasps> the cheater! No, Daniel. To become a pro, you have to know how to act. Start with the classics. Ancient plays, Italian drama, La Commedia dell'arte. The what? <clears throat> oh, anger. Oh, despair. Oh, age, my enemy. Have I lived simply to know this infamy? Am I thus whitened by the toil of battles to witness in a day but withered laurels? Go, leave now the very least of men, pass into better hands, take my revenge. <laughs> I'm dying! The infamy! Hath he no other wish than to take my life? A uh, what? I didn't even touch him! Even with gloves on, I wouldn't touch him. The grand finale, Daniel. Larry! <coughs> I forgive you. <laughs> Hang in there, Daniel. They're waiting for you at the ER. So, young man, you've got a big owie? Um, no. It's much better already, thanks. I think I'm good to go. Wow. <gasps> hey, take a deep breath for me. But I feel fine, I swear. Uh, very well. We're just going to do a few little extra tests. That's enough, Erico. Let's get out of here now. Are you kidding? If you can fake it here, you can fake it anywhere. That's amazing practice. How are you, sweetie? Mom? Doctor, is it serious? We don't know what's wrong yet, but we'll find out eventually. 
Be brave, baby. Mommy's here. Even if she hates hospitals. Oh. No time to lose. We're transferring him immediately to the Unknown Diseases Ward. But there's no reason to worry. We got you a fruit basket, but Stephen ate the papayas. Okay, guys, let's leave Daniel in peace. Get well soon, little guy. Erico, I shouldn't be here. This has gone way too far. It's up to you, Daniel. Either you admit to lying to the doctors, to all your friends, your coach, your mom. <gasps> Or we stay here for just a week or two and chow down on chocolate and passion fruit. Help. Mm. <laughs> Enjoy it while it lasts, kid. I've been here for years, and they still don't know what's wrong with my leg. Like me with this itching. Then again, it could be worse. Welcome to the Unknown Diseases Ward. Fruit Jelly? I know that guy. Daniel! Simon, Simon Bullock? The football superstar? The sham playing in my position? He's so classy. And so nice, too. Such lame hair. I heard all about your accident, Daniel. It's all over the news. Huge concern. Uh, that's really nice. But, you know, it's not that bad, in fact. Huge courage. I've decided to start a foundation to help you. The Daniel Foundation. Huge project. But isn't that the check you promised to save the planet? The planet can wait. The stakes here are just too, uh, huge. <laughs> It's no use, Eriko. I could never tell the truth in front of real sick people. I'm gonna stay in the hospital forever. In the hospital! Meh, it's not so bad here. <laughs> hey, kid, want some lychees? Hey, cool it over there, huh? Want a massage and my World Cup trophy while you're at it? <laughs> a World Cup? I know where I've seen that guy before. I played against him in the finals. I didn't even touch him, and I got a red card. It was the only World Cup I didn't win. Comedia dell'arte. He was faking it! He stole my cup! What? Faking an injury? The nerve of that guy! Hmm. Oh. Oh, no, it's not the same. Oh. Show's over. I'm going to tell everyone the truth. Faking is cheating! I wouldn't do that if I were you, kid. Wait, you're on your feet? It's a miracle! No, they're all faking. They were never sick in the first place. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> No one can ever know we're faking. Yeah, we like it here. We get three square meals a day and an afternoon stroll. We're not coming clean now. <laughs> Let me out of here! You're one of us now. If you speak, you'll be denouncing all of us. <laughs> hmm? hmm. Comedia dell'arte. Ah! My wrist! Why? I'm just a kid! Oh no! What have we done? Can't you see he's faking it? Comedia dell'arte. <laughs> you stole his trophy? He stole it from me first, an eye for an eye! There! 
you're all faking it, too! Uh, <laughs> Daniel Sisu, you should be ashamed of yourself! But they're faking! I swear! Ah! My leg! Why? What have I ever done to you? <gasps> Goodbye, my beauty. No! My cup! That's disgraceful! <laughs> Thanks, Erico. You owe me a World Cup. <clears throat> we'll be having a very long talk about this, Daniel Sisu. Upon reconsideration, this check will go back to saving the planet. Well then, I've come to a big decision. To prevent any more faking, no more fouls will be given. But Maple, aren't you worried we'll descend into violence and barbarism? What a beautiful game. How you doing, Suzanne? Are you thirsty? Hmm? Hmm? Before every match, I check every detail. Socks, shorts, laces, and a big can of Ericola! The pure taste of a champion. <gasps> you've got your own soda? Oh, yeah. And get ready, because you've never tasted anything so good. <laughs> Once you've tried my Ericola, you'll never want to drink anything else. <laughs> See? You have to chew it a little. Awesome, right? And how about the extra large bubbles? Fizzy, huh? Talk about champions, Bubbles. Sorry, Eriko. I didn't really like it. <gasps> Everyone loves Ericola. No! Taste it again. Taste it again. <laughs> no, sorry. I really didn't like it. But it's no biggie, right? I spent fortunes and recruited the greatest scientists. And after years of hard work, we're almost there. Hmm, there's still something missing. More sugar? More bubbles? Uh, shh, shh. Mm -hmm. It lacks some platana! More platana! This is what was missing! <gasps> there, that's the pure taste of a champion! A champion! No, no, no biggie. It's okay if you don't like my drink. Cool, okay. Erico, <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> 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 you you're already up? I haven't slept. <laughs> Woohoo! I'm wrapped up to the max. <laughs> Coming. I made breakfast. Wow. Whole grains, dairy, and fresh fruit? So balanced! And I <laughs> saved the best till last! Uh. Oh. No thanks, Erico. Huh? Huh? I already told you I don't like Ericola. It's not a big deal if I don't drink it, is it? <laughs> no, of course not. To each their own. I'm just worried about you, Daniel. Hmm? Everyone loves Ericola. If you're the only one who doesn't drink it, people might think you're weird. But aren't you always saying to trust your instinct and never listen to what other people say? I never said that. Uh, Erico, I'm not sure you can tame a shark. Always trust your instinct, Daniel, and never listen to what other people say. Okay, maybe that one time. 
trust your instinct. Your instinct. Hmm. <laughs> Isn't that the jingle from the Aracola commercial? It is! It's everywhere! I hear it in my sleep. <laughs> What's up, champs? Who's ready to do the wave for some Aracola? <laughs> the taste of a champion! It's so pure! Uh. Not my cup of tea. And remember, if by some small chance you don't like Ericola, everybody laughs at ya! Drink. Drink, 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 drink! Drink, 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 drink! But it's full of corn syrup! An artificial coloring! Yeah! Yeah, you still sure you don't want any? Come on, just a little sip. No! I don't like Ericola! That's that, and I won't change my mind! Hmm? Hmm? He knows what he wants, and I respect that. He has guts. <laughs> <clears throat> Daniel, I... I wanted to apologize for being pushy. I hope you'll forgive me. You are forgiven! <laughs> uh, <coughs> is that Ericola? Uh. <gasps> Ericola? In a squirt gun? Uh. More Ericola? Oh, that plumber's gonna get a piece of my mind. Here, take this. <laughs> but that's not water. It's transparent Ericola. New formula, Ericola Crystal. Enough, Erico! I don't like Ericola, okay? Everyone loves Ericola Crystal, Daniel! Everyone! <laughs> <sighs> Susan! What happened to you? Hmm? That nasty Ericola again. This madness has to stop. Hmm. Ericola. Ericola is full of chemicals, and the bubbles are made by pandas using straws. Oh. Daniel, all our chemicals are organic, and our pandas are very well paid. Oh. And it's full of sugar, too. Just because you don't like it doesn't mean you have to ruin it for everybody. Just look at yourself. Ever since you started drinking it nonstop, you've gotten kind of... Round? Go on, say it. I'm so disappointed in you. <laughs> On second thought, I'm fine down here. Hmm. You can keep lying to yourself, Erico, but you can't stop the truth. <laughs> oh, yeah? And what are you gonna do? Who's gonna listen to a kid? The truth about Ericola! Bad for you! Bad for pandas! The truth about Ericola! Ericola, no more! Ericola, no more! <laughs> Ericola, unhealthy flavor. Ericola, panda labor. Using his own words, simple but earnest, this young man has won hearts and minds over to his cause. Huh? What? He joins us now in studio. Welcome, Daniel Sisu. Daniel, your persistence has paid off. Ericola has now been banned in 17 countries. Bravo, young man! Yeah! <laughs> 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 
<gasps> Erico! Daniel? Put the can down, Erico. It's over. Stay away from me, Daniel. You're going to explode if you don't stop. I've got nothing to lose. You killed my dream. Your dream? I've always wanted a drink named after me. Then you've ruined it. Uh, well, Ericola had to be banned. What, just because it's so full of sugar it makes your eyebrows fall off? It makes your eyebrows fall off? Don't change the subject. We both know my drink's not the problem. This is about me. What? But just because I don't like Ericola doesn't mean I don't like you. Yeah, yeah, don't bother, Daniel. I get it. <clears throat> hey, give it back! What are you doing? <laughs> it's okay, Daniel. You don't have to... <sighs> there! So, you like it now? No! But I don't mind drinking it every day if it means we can stay friends. <sighs> anyway, I couldn't be friends with a guy with no eyebrows. I'm here now. Thanks, Daniel. Just one more for the road. Here it go. I think the carpet's done for. That's the pure color of a champion right there. Platana Aid. Your stomach has never been so flat. What? You don't want an athlete's body like mine? <laughs> Imagine you are trees. Feel your roots run deep, deep down into the ground. Look, Maya, that one looks like a hippopotamus. Yeah, and that one looks like a dentist lost in deep thought. Oh, yeah, you're right. You know, I don't like you hanging out with Maya. She's weird. We're just playing. We're finding shapes in the clouds. <laughs> clouds just look like clouds. Well, like cotton, maybe. Or like cotton candy. One's kind of like a dishwasher, right? No way. It's obviously a jet ski. Shh. Oh, well seen, Mr. Ball. See you tomorrow, hazelnuts. And don't forget, laziness is just meditation in disguise. Whee! <laughs> See you, Daniel. See you, Mr. Ball. It was nice talking to you. <laughs> oh, no. Now your nutcase girlfriend knows my secret! No one can know Erico Platana has been turned into a ball! Don't worry. If anyone knows how to keep quiet, it's Maya. Mom! Dad! Daniel Soccer Ball can talk! Oh no, I got it wrong! It's Tamea who never talks! You know that things can't talk, darling. I swear! Show them, Daniel! Yeah! <laughs> it's... it's a game we made up! Hey there, pals, it's Mr. Ball. What's up? Nobody talks for real. Tell them, Daniel. Let's go, Maya. Say goodbye to your friend. Goodbye, Daniel. Hey, what's with that voice? I don't talk like that. Come on, hazelnuts. These crab apples won't transplant themselves. Hmm? Maple, where's Maya? Well, her parents have pulled her out of the club. They think the hazelnuts are a bad influence on her. <gasps> and when I say the hazelnuts, I mean one person in particular. And when I say one person in particular, I mean you, Daniel. But don't take it personally. Oh no, Erico! What have I done? 
It's better this way. Your girlfriend is as batty as they come. I mean, come on. The whole talking ball business? It's a bit... Uh... But you are a talking ball! I am? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I am. We've got to get Maya back on the team. My prize from the baby beauty pageant, my vaccination records, and a reference letter from my mom. So, can Maya come back to the hazelnuts? We may have been too quick to judge you. Hey there! I'm Mr. Ball! Remember me? <laughs> Why the long faces, Mr. and Mrs. Sad Sacks? Somebody stole your smiles! Stop it, Erico! This isn't me, I swear! Ha! <laughs> <laughs> See how annoying that voice is? Why did you do that? Because of you, I might never see Maya again! All the better for you, Daniel. Maya's a... Uh, You'll never be a winner if you hang around with people like her. If you don't want me to talk to Maya, then I don't want to talk to you. Yeah, go on and sulk. We'll see who gives up first. And then I told him the only way your jersey's getting soaked is if we play in the rain. <laughs> huh? It's a good one, right, Daniel? <laughs> <laughs> Chocolate pistachio, your favorite, right? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I discard my doggy bone card and win again. What do you say to that, huh? Huh? Talk to me! Say something! Anything! That's it. You're upsetting me. I'm going shopping. <laughs> Who does he think he is? You don't ignore me, I ignore you. Wow. The little wings on the back is maybe a bit. <laughs> but then again, the sequins on the tongue. What am I thinking? I can't wear those, they're too weird. Hi, <laughs> Mr. Ball. Whoa, cool shoes. Did you get them? What? Me in those? Nah. Me? Nah. Me? I said the same thing about my frog sweater, but now it's my favorite. <laughs> Goodbye, Mr. Ball! I forbid you from not hanging out with Maya. She's amazing. For real? Thanks, Erico! <laughs> whoa, 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 easy champ. We still need to win over her parents. But how are we gonna do that? We'll show them that they have their own little strangeness, too. Then they won't have any reason to stop you from seeing her. But they don't seem strange at all. Believe me, Daniel. Everyone's got a frog sweater or winged sneakers hidden away somewhere. <laughs> Trust me, I've got a plan. Hello, I'm the plumber. We didn't call a plumber. You didn't? Oh, my bad. Ha. Well, now that I'm here, let's uh, let's have a coffee. <laughs> Erico, no offense, but is that the plan? While I'm distracting the parents, you rummage through their bedroom and find their weird stuff. for weird stuff about your parents. Shh. Okay. Pretty cups you've got here. What's that, uh, porcelain? Crazy weather out there. First it's hot, then it's cold. <laughs> How do you dress for that, huh? So anyway, you two been together for long? I'm calling the police. Nothing! There's nothing! It's no use, Daniel. 
My parents are really square. They even iron their socks. Are all your books instruction manuals? Yes. No way! Don't they have a secret cupboard or drawer? Decor. Is it Swedish? Yes, still here. He's wearing a fake mustache. Come quick. Okay, you got me. I have a fake mustache. I'm self-conscious about my upper lip. <laughs> I didn't hear anything. Do you hear something? <gasps> Daniel? Too late! I know your secret. In Grandma's hat box, there is... A hat? Mother's hat. Oh, good job, Daniel. Bravo. I couldn't find anything weird, Erico. The only painting on the wall was a painting of a wall. Ah, <sighs> at least we tried. That can't be right. Everyone has a wacky side, a loose screw. Everyone's a bit cuckoo. <gasps> Erico, what are you doing? I know what your quirk is. It's Maya. She's your pair of winged sneakers. Oh yeah, that's it. What you're trying to hide is Maya. I know it worries you that Maya isn't just like everybody else, but that's what makes her so great. Without Maya, life would be so much less surprising. You should be proud of her and let her be herself. I think the boy and the strange plumber are right. Does this mean I can go back to the hazelnuts? <laughs> That one looks like me on a yacht. Oh, and that one's me on a sailboat. And that one's a glass blower at his son's birthday party. Yeah. What? His son is a dinosaur? Oh. oh! Wow! Look, Maya, it kind of looks like your parents paragliding on a giant cow. Hey, wait. <laughs> Parents. Oh, I love Struck Street Lamp! <laughs> What's with all the huffing and puffing? Maple's got some big news. Okay, Hazelnuts, there's gonna be some changes around here. Starting today, it's practice, practice, practice! <laughs> Daniel, am I dreaming? Or are you finally going to play football? We're going to start with 10 laps of the field, then push-ups, pull-ups, sit-ups, dribbles, passes, penalty shootouts. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Happy birthday, Steven. <laughs> you got me. You really got me. Oh, deep down, I knew it wasn't true. 52 years old? No, oh, that's a cause for celebration. This team is killing me. Football isn't a joke. There's no game without pain. Exactly. Wait, what? Pain. Pain. I don't know, Erico. I don't see anything unusual. Your friend's got a problem, Daniel. Look at her. Pain. But Tamei is always like that. That's her thing. Dark and brooding. Football's a team sport. If one player's got a problem, the whole team's got a problem. Especially if it's the only good player. But... The only good one! So be a proper team captain and go talk to her. Hey, Tamea, can I sit here? Sure. What's up these days? You good? Yep. You want some cake? Thanks. Well, nice talking to you. 
Later. Everything's fine, Eriko. Tamei is the same as always. Are you kidding? She barely said two words. Yeah, but that's how she is. Quiet and mysterious. So it's worse than I thought. There's nothing to worry about, Eriko. I'll prove to you that Tamei is fine. I'll go and make her laugh. <laughs> I'd pay good money to see that. Oh, no. Please don't tell me you're doing the clown. Yep, you're doing the clown. Surprise tickle attack! <laughs> Uchi <-kushi -ku. laughs> You're right, Eriko. Tamea's not okay. She didn't laugh at a single one of my gags. Not even the surprise tickle attack! Pain! Pain! Maybe we need more clowns. No, Daniel, no more clowns. But Eriko... No! More clowns! You know what makes people happy? Money. When I feel down, I just buy myself something nice and... ka -ching! I feel much better. But what would make Tamea happy? I'm telling you, money buys happiness. Just buy her something. And that works? If it doesn't work, just buy something more oh. expensive. Hmm. Timea Morganson? Yeah. I've got a solid gold watch for you with a diamond bezel and a calfskin bracelet. Will you please sign for it? Nah. What about for the jet ski? Turbo engines and a leopard print paint job with calfskin upholstery. Nah. What about these bags of money? Start her up, Louie. We're sending it all back. My name is Sylvia, but whatever. I don't think she liked our presents, Eriko. I told you to get two jet skis. Only cheap skates give one jet ski. I'll call the dealer. No, Eriko. We need help. It's time to ask a responsible adult. <laughs> you did the right thing coming to see me, Daniel. You see, adolescence is like a tightrope strung between you and others. It's not easy to find your balance. Everyone is finding themselves at that age. Even I went through my rocker phase. Believe me, Daniel, the best way to reach Tamea's heart is through her ears. That music is diabolical! Diabolical! Well, I guess we'll have to save Tamea by ourselves. No, Eriko. It's not just us. Pain. Well, Tamea needs us, Hazelnuts. We have to cheer her up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If we want to open up a positive, honest conversation, we could just encourage her to talk about her feelings. Or we could just show her cute cat pictures. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We've got to encourage her. Nothing beats a good compliment or two. Right, Junior? Right? Right? Yeah, or we could just give her some space. What about flowers? Everyone loves flowers. Do something nice for her! Chocolates! Call a hypnotist! Wowee! They've got so many ideas! Which one do we choose? We choose all of them. All of them? All of them! All of them? That's crazy! That would be... A, a perfect, perfect day! day. Target is getting close. Everything ready, Daniel? Daniel! You need to say over. Otherwise, I don't know if it's my turn to talk. Over. Duh. Is everything ready, Daniel? Over! Affirmative, Eriko. The trajectory is locked. I've got Agents Tiger Lily, Big Daddy, Blondie, and Skinny Steve all in position. Over. <sighs> all right. She just passed the door. Good luck, everyone. Over. Roger. Okay, Tiger Lily. Compliment in. Three, two, one. Hi, Tamea. You look really good today. Thanks. You're up, Blondie. 
Here, Tamea, I picked you some fresh flowers. Mostly dark roses and black orchids. No, thanks. Chocolates? Not now, Big Daddy. Not now. Not now. Quick, we need to move on. Music, Skinny Steve. We've lost her. Tiger Lily, send in the cats. The cats! It's not working! Code red! I repeat, code red! It's all or nothing now. <laughs> Surprise! We've given your locker a makeover! We've changed your old paint for a tasty new varnish, raspberry colored. And since you like stickers, we've covered your locker with funny, cute ones. Okay, that's it. I'm off the team. What? But wait! We haven't done the dance routine or brought out the cookies yet! Uh, I mean, <laughs> there may be other surprises in store. I'll come back tomorrow to pick up my things. Chocolates! It'll never be the same again without Demea. Might as well stop playing football right now. Chocolates. Eriko, I think we got it wrong. You bet we got it wrong! Cross-eyed cats? Seriously, what was that? Skateboarding cats. Now that's what I'm talking about. Mabel was right all along. If we want to reach Tamea's heart, going through her ears is the only way. I know how to get Tamea to come back. Rock and roll. Begging you. Anything but that. Huh? Okay. We just wanted to cheer you up so you wouldn't be sad anymore. I'm not sad. Why does everyone think I'm sad? <laughs> we heard you shouting pain by the trash cans, under the bleachers, in the bushes. Pain is the name of my cat. He ran away. But he came back. Didn't you, Pain? <laughs> oh! Is he a Siamese? No, he's a short-haired Tonkinese. He's adorable! Uh, can you please get changed now? You're making me really uncomfortable. Has the concert been canceled? Shirt, cleats, socks... My shin guards! I left them at home! I can't play without them, it's too dangerous! Ha! <laughs> Baloney! Scars are a player's badge of honor. Here, look. You know why I sink like a rock in the pool? No. <laughs> Titanium knees. And you know why I beep at the airport? No. <laughs> Titanium ribs. And haven't you ever seen the scar on my back? No! Believe me, Daniel. Nobody cares about your precious shin guards. Kids, we have a visitor today. Just pretend I'm not here. <laughs> We're having a safety inspection by the city, so let's be extra careful now, hazelnuts.
Not to blow my own horn, but we've come a long way on safety. I'm open! I'm open! <laughs> okay, that'll do. So how'd we do? Ten out of ten? In only ten minutes, you committed 137 safety infractions. Dangerous tackling. Oh! Excessive noise. Ah! No shin guards. <gasps> Turf. Cracks. Vegetables. Shaving cream in the fire extinguishers. The Hazelnuts Club is officially... No! Closed. <laughs> Please, Mr. Safety Man! Don't shut our club down! We'll do anything you want! Your determination inspires me. What's your name, little one? D daniel Sisu. Daniel Sisu, here is the boxed set of oh. safety and prevention. If I see tangible improvement on my next inspection, I'll rescind my decision. Security lesson number one. Oh, Dread! My snack! <laughs> dread and double Dread. At least I still have one good hand. That's why we always have snack time after practice. Mm-hmm. Now, oh, come on. I didn't have all these rules, and I'm perfectly fine. Hmm? I don't know. It looks like ex-footballers have all sorts of problems. Hearing loss, mood swings, memory loss. What? Baloney! <laughs> nah, I'm all right. What are we talking about again? F football damaged me? No. Did it? No. <laughs> football has betrayed me, Daniel. My body's in ruins. You've got to save those children, Daniel. Don't let them end up like me. More safety? More safety. Maximum safety! No way are we letting him shut us down. We'll show the inspector how safe we can be. Yeah! Over here! No sudden movement. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Too loud. Hmm. Over here. Wait. I'm wondering about the ball. Look, Daniel, I know. Shh. Daniel, I know you're trying to make things better, but I think we're going a little overboard. Hmm? <laughs> That's why you should always play with a well-inflated ball. What were you saying about the ball? <laughs> Over here. Perfect, Erico. No contact, no risk. We've saved football, Daniel. Look out, a huge bumblebee. No sudden movements. There is nothing to be afraid of. I'll be okay, kids. Don't worry. There it go. We did our best, but danger's all around us. Hmm? Hi, Daniel. Hello. Huh. <laughs> Aw, good doggy.
up? Check out my titanium sealed reinforced silicone housing. Awesome, Mariko. Oh, hey, I know how to save the hazelnuts. <laughs> Kill it. Kill it. Oh, yeah, 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 I did it. <laughs> no, I can't end like this. Let's go, Plutana. Welcome to the team. You're fired! Great game, Platana! World champion! Here we go! Here we go. Here we go. You're my best friend, Erico! Wow. <laughs> Perfect! Color me impressed, Daniel Sisu. Complete protection. Bold move. It's just a hundred old sweaters. Did anyone just hear a titanium-sealed reinforced silicone ball crashing into aluminum garbage cans? Huh? No. Uh, will you excuse me for a moment? <laughs> Erico! Are you okay? I saw my whole life flash before my eyes, Daniel. It was awesome! But it made me realize something. Huh? You can't be a winner by staying in your shell. In life, you have to be able to take risks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Remarkable, Daniel Sisu. Hold it! Safety is important, and so is taking care of our health. But if we can't have fun, it isn't football anymore. <laughs> oh. Disappointing, Daniel Sisu. Hmm? A tear? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> Watch your fingers, Hassan! Fasten your seatbelt! Don't touch that! Don't go near the edge! Look carefully before you cross! Mr. Safety Man? This inspection is cancelled. You've saved your club and opened my eyes. You can keep the jacket. Time for me to follow my dream, to become an extreme sports athlete. Thank you, Daniel Sisu. Oh, that's the coolest guy I ever met. <laughs> <clears throat> After you, of course. <laughs> Stop! You can't bungee jump from a hang glider! It's way too dangerous! To live your life to the fullest, sometimes you've got to take chances. day for football fans everywhere as Simon Bolak prepares to receive the World Sportsmanship Prize for an Immaculate Career. The Foundation is proud to award this special prize to Simon Bolak, the gentleman of the pitch, for his exemplary playing career. Not a single foul, not one misstep. Wow! That's the time he switched teams at halftime to help the other side pull even. What? A gentleman. It's easy to not commit fouls if you don't play hard. Come on, Erico. Bolak was also the best striker in the championship. Not to mention his modeling career and being spokesperson for the Smiles for Orphans charity. I hate that guy. 
Why are we painting you gold again? So I can be the trophy. Oh! <laughs> Is this like a prank? Yeah, a really good one. <gasps> Wait till I get on stage. Then I'll ruin Mr. Perfect's perfect career. Wait, what? But that's so mean! <laughs> Showtime! Erico! No! <laughs> This is huge! Thanks! Short but sweet, from a player who's just as sweet. Oh, come on! I didn't get a chance to say anything! <laughs> I thought he would never leave. <laughs> Think, Platana. Think! There's gotta be a way out of here. Hello, Mr. Bolak. I wanted to ask you for an interview for my magazine. Uh, great. What magazine? Daniel Magazine. This is huge. Daniel's come to my rescue. I'm getting out of here. Hmm. If you were a tropical fish, which one would you be? Hmm. Oh, no. What on earth is he doing? I've never thought about it, but... Sorry, where were we? As I was saying... Oh, well... Oh. Hello? It's for you. Hey, it's Platana. Remember me? Your friend who's still locked in the display case! Uh, yeah, of course. I didn't forget. <laughs> Drop the interview and get me out of here! All good? Uh, yeah. Uh, could I please have a glass of water? One glass of water coming up. Oh, no, it's locked! Look for the keys. He put them down somewhere. Huh? Wow! You find them? It's a plate with Simon's face on it. Focus, Daniel. Focus! One glass <laughs> of water. Duh, my commemorative plate. Oops, sorry. Uh, is this tap water? Do you have any sparkling water instead? <sighs> One sparkling water coming up! Hurry uh, up! Okay. Whoa! There's a whole Simon Bolak dining set in here! Not now, Daniel! Dinner plates, soup plates, teacups, coffee cups, saucers, egg cups, milk jug, there's even a sugar bowl! That's not gonna unlock this door! One sparkling water... Oh, no! My dinner plates! My soup plates! My teacups! My egg cups! My milk jug! Even my sugar bowl. Uh, I'm really sorry. Also, could I get some cookies with my sparkling water? <sighs> cookies coming up! Just please don't touch anything else. Anything. I won't, I promise. Sorry! Do you have a broom in the closet? No, not the closet. No one touches the forbidden closet! Huh? Hmm. Uh, I'll go get your cookies. Got it! Finally! Come on, let's go! <laughs> Wait a sec. Don't you want to know what's in the forbidden closet? But Simon said we shouldn't touch it. It would be really rude of us. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Silly me. It would be really rude of us. Everyone has the right to keep a few little secrets. Ha <laughs> bingo. Here we go. A memory 
stick? This is wrong, Eriko. You shouldn't rummage through other people's stuff. Are you a journalist or not? This is a great scoop for your magazine. Mm -hmm. It's one of Simon Bolak's old matches. Why is he hiding it in a closet? Hey, wait a second. Simon Bolak committed a foul? Impossible! He's never committed a foul! <laughs> in your face, Mr. Perfect! I knew his nice guy act was too good to be true. Just wait till I post this online. His career is over. No, Erico! You can't do that! You know what? You're right. What was I thinking? I gotta film his reaction when he finds out! Say goodbye to your career, Mr. Perfect. Daniel's a nice kid, but unfortunately, he's trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about it. Uh, my trophy? What are you doing here? And you can talk? Uh, no. Okay, fine, I can talk. But it's because, uh... I'm your conscience. This is huge! And then he drops the saucers on top of the sugar bowl, and I really thought I was going to lose it. So, Mr. Perfect, not always so even-keeled, are you? I never lose my control, but this kid, he's both super annoying and super... <laughs> Adorable. Exactly. Sometimes I get the feeling my whole career is a lie. Me too. I mean, about your career, that is. At first, you're scared of going onto the field. But once you're out there, there's only one thing you're scared of. Getting benched. Hmm? Ah, sounds like cookies are ready. This talk has done me a world of good. We should do this more often. Love to. Love to. Cookies! Shall we wrap this interview up? <laughs> uh, I knew this would happen eventually. No, wait! It's not what you think! You know what, Daniel? I'm done with lying. Show people this video. Show the world! No! <laughs> Everyone makes mistakes. You can't throw your whole career away over one silly little foul. I can't live with the secret anymore. It's too heavy of a burden to bear. Football needs you. Kids look up to you. I have to free myself from this lie. The world has to know. Think of your fans. Think of the kids. Stop! That's enough, both of you. I have to show you something. <laughs> You weren't the one to bring him down, Mr. Bolak. Someone threw a shoe at him. There's the culprit. At the time, you were on the same team as Erico Platana. Oh, yeah, I've forgotten all about that. So that means I've never committed a foul? Platana, you old bum. You're still the greatest sportsman in the world. Erico had been planning his trick for a long time. Oh, I remember now. He criticized my hairstyle. And to think that for all these years I thought I was a monster. When in fact, the monster was Erico, not you. You guys at Daniel Magazine are pretty sharp. What a scoop. Puh, <laughs> scoop. So, are you pals with Simon now? Whoa, 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 take it easy. I just might hate him a bit less. We realize we've got a few things in common. Things that drive us both. Crazy. Can you please stop with the pen? Don't miss the next issue of Daniel Magazine with all your favorite sections. Snoop McDaniel's Case Files, Madam Daniel's Horoscope, The Witch Daniel Are You Quiz, Grandma Daniel's Recipes. <laughs>